hello friends hi uh, it gives me a great amount of pleasure to welcome dr samina and uh, she has scored rank 1 in the head and neck oncology and i'm sure she is floating around uh, because you know it must feel like a dream right now isn't it so yes sure it's still like a dream for me <laughs> so how's how's been the reaction at home uh, yeah everybody is very happy especially my husband <laughs> like he was the person behind me pushing all the time that you'd go for it go for it do it study <laughs> so he is the person who is behind my success like i'll tell like the most like supportive person and my parents uh, and my kid also uh, oh, who was great. so understanding like she never disturbed me in my studies she <laughs> so now that's a miracle i tell you <laughs> so because, because i know how kids can be uh, they 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 yeah, generally yeah. don't allow you so to she was yet. she was very much understanding so it's all thanks to almighty and my parents and my family <laughs> i think that's wonderful uh, you know a supporting your husband and a fantastic kid of fantastic kid like that is rare i think you should you know <laughs> uh, you should give us some gifts for this so yes. uh, so samya uh, i'm sure you want to you know uh, take up hidden oncology at the most premier institute tata and uh, i know uh, i know your entire family is going to be happy about it but you know most people consider ent as an end specialty you know where did this drive to do mch come in because i don't find a lot of ent surgeons driven to do mch or even think about it yes sir so it was not like before so now uh, ent surgeons are doing head and neck uh, so it is like how much exposure you get in head and neck surgery but most some people are not interested in head and neck some people are interested so there are even though it is like end specialty after ent there are a lot of uh, op- opportunities options other than head and neck there are a lot of opportunities like skull base so it is not like you can just stop it with ms ent or dnp ent it is not you like definitely that. need a fellowship or a yeah you can go ahead with anything so in head and neck uh, i was lucky enough to get more exposure to head and neck during my pg days i did my pg from aims jodhpur great, so great. there were lot of head and neck cases and it was mostly it was uh, mostly it was head and neck based rather than doing uh, ent work yeah. okay so so uh, so you i mean uh, i think it's a, i think that would have been a phenomenal experience working at aims jodhpur ent which i have heard is one of the finest departments in for head and neck surgery in the country uh, yes. especially among the core ent departments uh, but yes. where did you do your ug uh, sabiwa ug was from uh, government medical college trishur kerala great and great. then i did pg from there after that i worked in apollo bangalore like for the last 11 months i was working at apollo bangalore as an associate and dr satish nayar so that was also like the sir is a head and neck surgeon so main exposure was again in head and neck great great i think so you chosen your uh, career uh, well in the sense that you done a pg at the place where you get good exposure and again when it comes to working i think i think you made the right choices in your life Uh, yes. so samia coming back to the preparation aspect of it um how did you prepare what were the books did you use and how long would you study per day and how did you manage to you know uh squeeze in all this with a family with a proper job without getting a job how, how did you manage this it, it, it you know kind yes, of baffles sir. me yes sir actually i resigned my job like last two months so the main intense preparation was for last two months but in my mind i had like after completing my pg itself i had that okay i have to prepare and i have to give this so in first time last neat ss when i wrote i got rank 43 so that was i was like okay if i prepare and write maybe i'll get through uh, so that's how i started reading uh, slowly and uh, it is you have to read everything um but it's not possible when you uh, appear for a competitive exam it is not possible to read line by line sentence by sentence from the textbooks but that should be your reference so main thing is do the questions uh, and then go back and read from the textbooks so uh, what books did you use uh, standard ent textbooks button brown yes sir yes sir so for ent and head and neck surgery the standard textbooks are scott brown cummings and stellan maran 
So everything latest edition. So that we have to be thorough. And other than that, uh, there are basic ENT books like uh, Dingra, Mohan Bansal and all. So I read that also because uh, it's easy to... No, no, uh, it's very important. Yeah, There's no yeah, need yeah. to be easy uh, ashamed to of this thing of saying that. You need to do it. That's yeah. So it is like I read that also because uh, it is not like when we think like MCH and NIT exam, uh, never think that it will be an advanced questions, advanced Shadanak based questions regarding trials or nothing. It's nothing like that. It's basic. Basic. So, yeah. So never miss out on basic things, uh, including uh, from the anatomy, embryology, everything you have to read and you have to make questions. Were there any general surgical concepts which are asked in the exam? This time it was not there. Because the last, previous time they thought yeah, that there would be... Yeah. Last year, there were a lot of general surgery questions and also other surgical oncology questions, uh, CA breast. Uh, so last time, uh, since the pattern was like that, I started yeah. preparing for general surgery also. But this time before the exam, there was this confusion whether to prepare for general surgery or not. And this last time it was 100 questions and now it is 150 questions. Well, but still, it was there was not clarity regarding that so i prepared both but during the exam it was 150 full ent and head and neck but for okay. INIS, so uh, regarding search general it will be purely purely uh, okay okay no they asked general surgery so a lot of general surgery, general surgery as well okay. yeah, yeah so uh regarding search test mcqs which you used uh, what would be your review and how useful are they Yes, sir. so search test was like it suddenly came to me like just three three or four days before the exam. I just saw the mock test first. So when I saw the mock test, I gave the mock test. After that only I came to know that, okay, there is a question bank uh, for ENT and head and neck. Otherwise, I didn't know. Then again, there was a confusion. Only three days are left. Then why should I take this? But... I took the uh, question bank. So I did all the 1,500 questions within that three days. And that was oh, helpful for me to revise. <laughs> it was like a sudden uh, revision. So would you recommend? Yeah, sure. So would you recommend the search test MCQ bank for people who are preparing uh, or right from the start? Yeah, yeah. Doing MCQs is very much important in the similar preparation. Uh, reading books or reading uh, notes, it, you have to uh, do MCQ so that you will get to know okay, which point I'm missing out or which are the areas that are weak. So that is very important. So doing MCQs is good. So that uh, question bank was very few organizations. Right, we are one of the very few organizations who are having a focus on ENT at all, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but it validates. That's a, yeah, we yeah. are very. This point. Only one in. No, we are very. Uh, my team was telling me whether this would work or not. No, my team was telling me whether ENT would, you know, uh, you know, people would use ENT or not. But yeah. the entire effort feels validated when you get a good rank and you know uh, we get good reviews about the question bank. That feels, you know, uh, your yes. entire effort is validated. Yes, sir. The problem is like there's no like no proper question bank or MCQ books. ENT MCQ books that is neat PG MCQ books are there. Otherwise, there is no. The levels are definitely lower. Yeah, but still we have to read that also because they ask okay. that basic questions also. So that's why everyone will search for, a, okay, there, is there any chance to get some MCQs? <laughs> so that's how I found the search test in back, question bank. Sure, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, so, you know, where do you see yourself 10 years down the line? 10 years from now... <laughs> means I want to be in a cancer institute uh, so maybe as a faculty or, uh, yes and also I don't know whether I'll be going back to my hometown uh, so I am from Kerala and I'm from Kannur in Kerala uh, so it's like there uh, I want to work for my people but uh, I don't know whether I'll be there or not because it's head and neck and you need a comprehensive team. It's not a single performance or anything. You need a team for I that. Know. 
so maybe if the chances are there i'll definitely do otherwise in a cancer institute <laughs> mostly <laughs> great 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 hey thanks samia uh, it was great having you here and uh, i really hope that over the next uh, few years you work closely with search test as a faculty because we would love to have your input in the entire team and in you know motivating uh, other youngsters young ent surgeons to take up uh, headache oncology as a specialty because i feel that yes sir if the, the people are interested they should come definitely the more you specialize the more better the outcomes are definitely are so uh, yes. i'd be really happy if you know you could guide uh, young surgeons young ent surgeons to take this wonderful branch as a specialty of their choice thank you so much amina thank you for thank being you. here with us today thank you so much sir.